raised money yet last year for construction. I think most of you know that. The year before we did. And we raised uh, close to $300,000 uh, two, two years ago. And I think everybody's expectation, including ours, was by now we would have a full basketball court out there and a bunch of other things that I spoke about. So we want to give you a quick update about where we are, what we're trying to get done. Okay. So we have three, we've taken all the work we're doing for MCC. And I'm, I'm talking about the work that we want to get done in the next year, year and a half, two years maybe, but hopefully a year and a half. And we've broken it up into three packages. And we've broken it up into three packages that we can take to the Hacienda Association, the Office Association, the three packages that we can take to um, uh, the city for permits. And the three packages work so they can work independent of each other or they can be done simultaneously. The first package is everything outside. And that includes the full basketball court, it includes an extended picnic area, it includes barbecue area, it includes an open field, it includes a, a park course, it includes uh, EV stations, includes, what am I missing? Uh, the, the Wuzu stations is going to include, uh, is going to include later on actually as package two, but I'll talk about that in package two. So that's package one, okay? And uh, that's package one, and Sayyid Pai will give you an update exactly where we are in package one. That is being done together, and that's the first thing we want to do. Package two is everything inside this building. Now, the new news that I brief, briefly talked about last time is about where that second pillar is. That second one or the first one? The second pillar is in the ladies' area. Behind that, we're going to build a second story. And it's going to be 14,000 square feet of a second story. And in the second story, actually, can we go to the next slide? I forgot we had slides. <laughs> Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> we skipped right to, uh, let's go back, one. There you go. Thank you. So package one, you can see. Thank you. Package two, as I said, is everything in this building. I won't go through the entire list, but we are putting a second floor. We're going to have 25 classrooms up there for Sunday school. We're going to have a offices for Sunday school. We're going to have bathrooms there. There are going to be two staircases, and there's going to be an elevator. That's all going to be there. And then when we move Sunday school up, that gives us a lot more room having additional conference room types down here, additional room for a parent, for a, a, a parent-child area with actually a section specifically for small kids to play. It gives us room for a gym, a lounge slash gym for ladies, and a separate lounge slash gym for men. And I think I've gone through most of the list. Oh, and there's also a library and a seniors lounge. Here we will raise this roof up, uh, behind this, we're going to have a mom's room, and behind that section, we're going to have a, a, a small room for at the calf. And, a, and we'll have a shower in the, in the uh, area for taking a shower for at the calf. That's package two. Think of that as a second store and everything inside. Package three is all about food. It essentially is what we used to call the, it's a dining hall, what we used to call the banquet hall. Banquet hall means something very specific to the city. We don't use that language anymore. It just means more requirements, so we call it a dining hall now. It's the same thing. Uh, a cafe, partly covered, partly uncovered, a commercial kitchen, and an outside patio. These are all the things we're working on. I'm going to have Saeed by here. Saeed, by the way, is, is uh, he does his pro bono. He's been doing this for many, many years. He's on construction in many places. He's doing his absolutely for zero charge. Uh, and he's in charge of construction. So let me take it to say by. He's, by the way, uh, head of the, uh, our, our MCC Board of Trustees. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Just one. Uh, if I may, I'll just uh, be very brief. I know it's getting late. Um, so uh, thank you, Brother Purvis. 
Um, so a quick, uh, Brother Pervez did uh, provide a description of the three packages and uh, somebody, uh, most of you or many of you may be wondering what's the reason for dividing it up into three packages. Uh, mostly because, uh, you know, for ease of management and uh, far more important than that is if any of the packages is stuck with the city for one reason or the other, if they have objections, if they want the, our conditional use permit to be uh, revised or uh, redone, which would take time, so that would allow us to continue and make progress on all the other packages that we have defined. So that's the main reason why we divided that up. And then of course, uh, it's uh, ease of management. If all three packages get in, uh, approved at the same time, then of course we can implement them uh, at the same time. Uh, the, the package, uh, uh, next slide please. So uh, this gives a very, uh, brief overview of where we are with these package. The, the first package, uh, we have determined that the conditional use permit, that's the first uh, column on the, uh, the left-hand side. The first, uh, it, the conditional use permit is not required, uh, which is good news. The Hacienda Owners Association has already approved this package. Uh, we have submitted our applications to the city already and uh, we've gotten one set of comments and we are in the second round with them. Uh, as far as construction, uh, we have taken the liberty to implement some of the items which do not require city uh, inspections or approvals. As you see uh, on, on, on the outside, we've done most of the cleanup. Uh, we have uh, installed some pavers outside. We've opened up a new uh, door, exit door in the lobby. Uh, so, so that when we get the final uh, approval from the city, we are ready to uh, implement and do the construction. Uh, our hope is that by the, by the fall of this year, we would have the package one uh, completed in construction. Um, but again, depends on uh, how picky the city uh, ends up being in terms of uh, asking for more studies to be done. Uh, package two is right behind it. Uh, we uh, have determined CUP modification not required. We have gotten the Hacienda Owners Association approval and we expect to apply for the city permits uh, in, this, in the first week of uh, April. And we haven't started any construction yet because all this work requires uh, city inspections. Package three is right behind package two and uh, we do not have a clear indication from the city yet whether they would require a CUP modification or not, uh, but we do have a verbal approval from the association. Uh, if we end up getting the final approval from the association, which we are expecting any time, we intend to apply for the city permits in the second week of April. And again, we would start the construction once we have the final approval from the city. Uh, here are some numbers, some uh, what we would need to implement this, uh, the three packages. Uh, these are estimates as right now because we don't have uh, uh, the final uh, drawings yet. So um, most of, uh, we have, uh, as Brother Pervez said, we have, uh, we have made these presentations uh, over the last year or so. Um, but the attendance at, the, at our uh, town hall meetings has not been that great. So we thought this would be a, a good idea uh, to have uh, all the participants, all the community members uh, see where we are and what we're doing. Jazakum uh, khair. with that I'll hand it back to Purvis.
Okay, I'm going to wrap this up. I have a few things that I need to say. Uh, one, uh, somebody asked me yesterday, well, so when is the basketball court going to be there? And what's the answer to that question? Inshallah, fall. Subject to the permits getting done, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. What else is required to get package new done? What do you need? What do you need? No, seriously, what do you need? You need city approval. You need you need Hacienda approval. We got we got that. You need people to do the work. And what else do you need? Monies. What's the good news? We have the 500k. Alhamdulillah. So we collect the queer. We collected money. Remember a couple a couple of years ago, we spent a lot of it on the parking lot, HVAC, and things like that. But we have multiple sources of money. We've been careful to one not spend that money because you gave it to us for, for this purpose. So the 500k alhamdulillah we have. The next part is going to be raising 1.6 million. Okay, that's not easy to do. What else do we need to get this done? We cannot have we cannot run half of this budget while we're doing construction. Right? So we have to find another place for Sunday school, probably in January, not in not in fall. Probably in January, rent a place, and it'll take us a year to do construction. This part of the motion beyond that pillar here will be open. Most of the other stuff will be closed. And it's going to take a year of construction. And we're going to have this, well, we're not completing everything here. We're going to have this discussion with you. Say the highest had it with the teachers and the staff at Sunday school. But what's the third thing you need? You need the money. Okay? Now, we want to be careful. We don't need the money today because we're not starting today. But we don't want to start construction and have nothing in the bank. Because we finish the 500K and we say, okay, raise money. It doesn't work that way. So what we'd like to do, not today, but we'd like to raise at least a couple hundred thousand. Just to have it in the pocket so when we're done, we can keep working. Okay, and we're going to ask for some of that in Ramadan. I mean, you can give it to us after Ramadan in Shawwal, or you can just say Ramadan is a better month to give. I just give it in Ramadan, and you can trust us. We're going to keep the. We're going to have the. We're not going to use the money for something else, because I just said the 500k we have. We have that today. Alhamdulillah. And then we'll talk about uh, the third phase. Let's quickly go to the next slide, and the next slide, uh, and the next slide. So, just very quickly, this, on the left-hand side, we have raised for building purposes $780,000. Go back one slide. We have spent $930,000. Go back to the slide again, forward. But we have uh, money from before, and some of the rental income, most of it comes into this for, for uh, building funds. Some of it goes to operations from time to time. So we have enough money. We have 550k available for construction for package one, and we need to raise 200k. That's the message I want to give you, and that's the message I just want to leave you today with. And secondly, do remember for the, re the next 10 days, think about what you want this place to be, not just for ourselves, but for our children. The key point I want to make is, and we haven't made this yet, when we build the 25 classrooms upstairs, we're building them for Sunday school. We're also building them for a Saturday school. We're also building them for K through five. We're going to design them so we can do K through five, knowing that K through five is going to need a separate CUP. So we're not telling the city that. After we design it, after we build it, after we do that, then we're going to go back to the city saying, we have everything ready. Now let's give, you, give us a conditional user permit. Okay. So think about what we're doing in phase two. It is everything we said it is also Saturday school and it is also K through five, inshallah. Say inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.